Assalamu alaikum wa rahmatullahi wa barakatuh Friends in this video we will discuss how we can understand a data sheet for Zener diode Here I have a simple diode which is rectifier diode One color band is here to indicate the cathode side the other side is anode side Similarly we have a black bar here that will indicate that it is cathode side the other side that is anode side here I have different types of packages if we see compare this one it have some large body it is approximately the same size but every diode every zener it have a band it have some information on the body there is something some marking information on its outside body I have Motorola diode so all diodes are looking same every diode have cathode and anode we have some information BZX in first line 85C 6V2 BZX 85C 6V2 this side we have a bar that will indicate that this side is cathode side so its part number is BZX 85C 6V2 if you find data sheet there are many parameters that are indicated in this data sheet how we can understand so here BZX that is logo 85C that is series that have some information for the specific power rating and current rating voltage rating and different parameters 3V3 it is the first diode in this series that is 3.3 volt 200 volt that means 85C series it is providing 3.3 volt 200 volt but from another manufacturer EIC it is providing it is BZX 85C it is providing 2.4 volt to 200 volt and it is 1.3 watt from this manufacturer it is giving 1 watt all the data sheets when we look the data sheet from different manufacturers they are giving some information here is plus here is minus here is plus here is minus so we have to compare at least minimum two or three data sheets from different manufacturers to take a good picture of the component first that is voltage rating then we have PD that is power dissipation every diode if you see a simple rectifier we will see it have a forward voltage 1 volt and we can say 1 ampere current 2 ampere current 3 ampere current different ratings so it have a current rating Zener diode is provided in watts voltage and watt 3.3 volt 1 watt 100 volt 1 watt the current will automatically differ from this to this wattage is the same in the same family but the current will change from part number we can say the current value will change from every part number within this family if it is 3.3 volt 3.6 volt 3.9 volt 4.3 volt 4.7 volt every component have different current rating because the wattage rate will remain 1 watt it is power dissipation when it is operating at full current how much power it will dissipate so it is 1 watt the condition the lead temperature away from the body it is package cathode anode and these are leads until the lead length is 3 over 8 inch the lead temperature will 50 degree centigrade if the temperature will increase above 50 degree then we have to derate with 6.6 .6 milliwatt per degree centigrade if the temperature will increase ambient temperature will increase in that case its power rating will derated with 6.67 milliwatt per degree centigrade each 
increment in the temperature will cause to derate the power then it have tj tstg tj that is junction temperature that is called operating temperature and storing temperature minus 65 to 200 degree centigrade so this zener diode can be operated or it can be stored from minus minus 65 to plus 200 degree centigrade before moving to this chart we have to understand some parameters so that we can easily consider every point in the data sheet first of all we will understand a simple diode simple rectifier a rectifier a diode it have two type of biasing two type of power supplies which we can apply to a diode if we connect a diode in any circuit that we apply negative voltage to the cathode side and positive voltage to anode side so it will allow the electronic current to move in the diode we can say it will conduct if we apply positive voltage to this side and negative voltage to this side in that case it will behave as a open circuit so it is one way conductor and if we apply reverse voltage positive voltage to cathode and negative voltage to anode at a specific level this diode will damage that is called breakdown point in that condition the diode will destroy it. now if we apply forward voltage cathode anode positive negative in this case it will allow to flow the current forward bias after junction voltage forward junction volt voltage that is 0.7 volt this diode will allow to flow the current how much current if it is 1 ampere so we can take maximum 1 ampere it is called if forward current so here is vf forward voltage from forward voltage we will take a maximum current that is called forward current in this way we are increasing the voltage forward condition so here is forward current reverse voltage this was the first condition if you connect negative supply to the cathode side positive supply to the anode side and we connect a load between this point so it will allow to flow the current but if we connect reverse bias positive voltage to cathode side negative voltage to anode side in that case this diode will not allow a current and at a specific voltage this diode will destroy it. it is called breakdown voltage and this current will called breakdown current that is for a simple diode simple rectifier here we have leakage current that is due to many minority carriers that is negligible here we have in forward condition we have minority carrier current that is negligible that is called leakage current but when we discuss a zener diode in forward condition it will behave the same if we will connect in forward condition it will work similar to this diode but if we will connect it in reverse bias zener diode it have a z shape here what is here positive is connected to cathode and negative is connected to anode and we use a load resistor in the series so in the in this case it will behave like this diode it will not allow to move any current because it is reverse bias but due to the composition of its material due to the construction due to the doping of the n and p type materials its specification it have some different behavior than this simple diode what will happen for example this diode was damaged at 100 volt reverse but this diode at specific before specific voltage reverse voltage 
it will cause to flow a very minor current that is reverse current or leakage current and then there will a current flow in the reverse direction at this point it is called V reverse and I reverse it is called leakage current in this portion for example this diode we have 6.2 volt at 6.2 volt it will start to flow our current but before that if you apply 2 volt 3 volt 4 volt then there will no current flow inside the diode why because it is in reverse direction and its junction is expanding in that case it will just only provide a reverse leakage current so this is leakage but at this point if we see it is like a knee so this knee point what is the voltage level when the current will start from leakage to Zener current and this current is called Zener current IZ Zener current when the current will convert it into from leakage into Zener current that is called knee point the voltage at this knee point will called VZ knee VZ knee VZK and the current at this point it will called IZK we will check these parameters in the data sheet so that's why I am discussing here so we will know what is in the data sheet and what it means and the, when we have voltage when we have current at this point it have a specific resistance before this its resistance was infinity or very high resistance but at this point it have a specific resistance that is called Z Z K the first set that is impedance Zener impedance at knee point from this point from this level to this level we have Zener current and how much the Zener current can be obtained from a Zener that is called IZM maximum Zener current after this Zener current after the maximum limit this will destroy that will its breakdown point after IZM its junction temperature will increase and its material will degrade it now we can understand the Zener data sheet easily locate the part number in the data sheet BZX 85C 6V2 so it have 5.8 volt VZ minimum to maximum now we have to consider another thing this data sheet does not say that this Zener will provide 6.2 volt this point we have to understand very clearly that no Zener can provide 100% regulated voltage if it is 6.2 volt so its output will vary from 5.8 to 6.6 5.8 volt to 6.6 volt the nominal 6.2 volt when the Zeners are produced from different samples from the batch at a specific current, specific frequency, specific pulses its resistance voltage current is measured and the voltage level is estimated that this batch will provide the voltage from 5.8 to 6.6 .6 volt so nominal voltage is 6.2 volt and it is tested at IZT it is test condition electrical characteristics ambient temperature 25 degrees Celsius so it is test condition if we see this diode if we divide power divided by voltage so it will reach approximately 190 200 
milli ampere but it is tested at 35 milli ampere it is iz so iz does not mean that it is its total current no it is just only test current then here zener impedance zz at iz iz that is test condition so it's zener impedance what is impedance diode zener coil capacitor any component it have its esr value this diode it have a specific resistance this zener can provide a specific resistance at different frequencies this capacitor this inductor will provide esr equivalent series resistor actually we are using discrete components coil inductor diode capacitor anything but as a resultant when it is calculated it is called zener impedance it is called impedance that is denoted at z and measured in ohms like a simple resistance so this diode this zener these components provide a resistance that is equivalent to dc resistance so it is called impedance so when this diode is tested when this zener is tested it provides 4 ohms resistor at this voltage at this current and zzk at izk izk which we discussed here izk at this point it is 1 milli ampere the minimum current when it will start regulation that is 1 milli ampere so we can take 1 milli ampere but 1 milli ampere will not provide regulation because when we will take 1 milli ampere at that time its voltage will drop and the zener regulated voltage will go out of limit so we have to set the current value from izk to izm that is zener current between this window so here is 1 milli ampere we can say maximum 190 milli ampere so that is izm so this window it is iz zener current now izk at knee point it will provide 1 milli ampere and its resistance will 300 ohms in the reverse condition when we are applying voltage here from 0 to reverse voltage it claims that at 3 volt it can provide maximum 1 micro ampere current that is maximum limit so that is leakage current IR at VR reverse current at reverse voltage reverse voltage 3 volt so all zener diodes have different current ratings in this data sheet there is not mentioned any maximum peak current how much the current value will maximum so we will check another data sheet if we check this data sheet it says 2.4 volt for the same series to 200 volt and our value is 6.2 volt now PD in this data sheet we can find the PD power dissipation at lead temperature 50 degree centigrade so it will 1.3 watt our last data sheet it was claiming 1 watt so it is claiming 1.3 watt maximum forward voltage at IF 200 milli ampere so we can say if we connect this BZX 85C in forward condition so it will provide 200 milli ampere 200 milli ampere forward current so this diode can provide this diode can work up to 200 milli ampere it is forward current and the voltage value that will 1 volt when when we connect a simple diode that will drop 0.7 volt so this diode this zener diode if it is connected in forward condition it will drop 1 volt here are dimensions lead thickness lead length the body size from this point to this point and from center glass window all measurements are measured in millimeters 
then here is weight polarity color band denotes cathode then it have derating chart that up to 50 degree centigrade here is temperature and here is maximum power dissipation at 50 it, it will dissipate 1.3 watt when the temperature will increase its wattage rate will start decreasing then in this data sheet here is nominal zener voltage for the same BZX85C62 6V2 so nominal voltage are 6.2 volt in this data sheet there is no margin plus or minus it is just only giving a center value 6.2 volt so if we compare this data sheet it says 5.8 to 6.6 .6, and exactly this is information is perfect any zener cannot provide fixed voltage it have a tolerance we have to understand this then we it have a test current IZT so zener diodes when it is tested it is tested in this range at different frequencies it is called IZT test current ZZT at IZT zener test impedance at zener test current that is 4 ohm ZZK zener impedance at knee point and IZK when 1 milliampere so it is 300 ohms IZK knee point current that is 1 milliampere maximum reverse leakage current up to 1 microampere then here it is saying maximum DC zener current it is 170 milliampere IZM if you calculate so in data sheet it says 170 milliampere that is good so maximum IZM maximum zener current that is 170 milliampere from this diode in DC circuit it will work as a diode as a rectifier but when we apply high frequency when we use high frequency if we think a capacitor capacitor have two plates and one dielectric that is inside here and if we see here it have one n type material the second p type material and between these material there is a junction so if we compare with a capacitor one plate second plate and the center junction that is working as a dielectric so at high frequency how much capacitance will provided from this zener diode how much capacitance will generated it is not a capacitor but it will behave as a capacitor as well so 6v2 it will provide 200 picofarad diode capacitance CD in picofarad at 1 megahertz it will provide 200 picofarad capacitance then in other data sheet VZ that is the same impedance test current ZZK knee point impedance knee point current reverse voltage reverse current then it have TC temperature coefficient percent per degree centigrade so 6v2 it have 0 .0, 0 .04, 0 0.04 percent per degree centigrade it is temperature stability it is derating or we can say 6.7 millivolt per degree centigrade or we can say 3 millivolt per degree centigrade it is in plus and some diodes have in minus minus 3 millivolt per degree centigrade minus 5 millivolt per degree centigrade or 0 0.03 minus 0 0.03 percent per degree centigrade so it is D rate factor or temperature stability this parameter will indicate that how much 
the change in the output of the zener will occur depending on the change in the temperature for example at 25 degree centigrade I am taking 10 volt at 25 degree if the temperature will change at 50 degree centigrade so it will give 10.1 volt it is example at 100 degree centigrade it will give 10.15 so it is stability it is tolerance it is a question that how much voltage will change if it is in plus then the voltage will increase if D rate factor is in minus in form of millivolt per degree centigrade or in form of percent per degree centigrade in that case we have two plus or minus from the specific value because these values are mentioned at 25 degree centigrade friends I hope so this video is informative if it is informative hit the like button if you have any question please let me know in the comment box thanks for watching assalamu alaikum warahmatullahi wabarakatuh